So welcome to the greenhouse. As you can see, it has been built with the frame of an old tent. So four years ago, we changed the tents. And so we kept one for spare parts and with the extra bits and pieces, we have simply built this uh, very handy greenhouse. This is where we sow our first seeds to have the little sprouts that we'll then transplant into the garden. And so Sandra likes to experiment. Three years ago, we found a very nice little shop in Dordrecht, south of uh, Amsterdam. And they specialize in uh, old seeds, forgotten seeds. And so Sandra really treated herself by buying a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of them. So a lot of uh, perennial plants and other vegetables. And so e every year she experiments by adding few, few more seeds to her collection. But the main attraction here is uh, this system. It's called the aquaponic system. So basically you put together two uh, systems. The first one is aquaculture and the other one is hydroponics. So how to grow vegetables without any soil. So in this tub here you just have some clay beads and you use, this, you use it simply as a, as a base where you can put your plant and where they can grow. So the idea here is that you will simply use the water of the fish. So the water is getting richer because of all the excrement, the, the fish breathing in it and all the leftover food that falls at the bottom. All that will simply be sent by this pond into this grow bed. And here the plants will take from the water what they need to, to feed. And at the same time, the bacteria growing at the root of the plants will contribute to purifying and cleansing the water. And so you have a closed circle where on one hand you could have edible fish if you wanted to, but here we have chosen simply goldfish. And on the other hand, vegetables. And so the advantage here is one. So the plants receive water and food 24 seven. And so they grow much, much better and faster. Here it's a bit hot because uh, we are already at uh, at the end of June and inside it can be above 40 degrees. So you can see that some of the plants are struggling, but we are experimenting. This is how we learn. And uh, also, well, if you wanted to, you could uh, raise some uh, edible fish. So I have uh, done some experiments with local fish like carps and uh, perches and catfish and so on. But so far, goldfish are the ones who, uh, who are quite happy in this little volume. And so, for example, here I have, I'm growing also a lot of aquatic plants, including this seaweed, uh, this seaweed, this duckweed, sorry. So you can find it very easily in any of the ponds in the area. And basically you take a handful and you just feed it here to the fish. Et voila. And so another advantage of an aquaponic system is the how much water you can save. If you would take the same volume separately in aquaculture or hydroponics, you would waste a lot of water simply because, for example, in this water, at one point, uh, the water will saturate with all the excrement and all the nitrate that the fish produce. And so that's why you need to recycle, renew the water quite often. And it's the same with the hydroponic system. After a while, the water will saturate with all the fertilizers that they use to feed the plants and at the same time so you you renew the water quite quite regularly but here with the closed system you don't have to do anything you just let it find its balance you check the pH every now and then to be sure that everything is okay but that's it so an aquaponic system uses only 10% of the water that would that you would otherwise use for aquaculture hydroponics so it's very very handy very compact little system and here I'm just experimenting with very small volumes, but I keep on saying that my dream will be one day to turn the, the swimming pool into a aquaponic system. One day, we will see. But as you can see, it works really well. The water stays really clear. And the fish are happy. So far, so good. <laughs> 